What's going on, Western Oregon? Michael here with another episode of True Life Sessions. This is episode 002. And today we're going to be talking about prayer, and I invited one of my really good buddies in, the one, the only, Cowlitz County, representing Mr. Kane Ulrich. Kane, hey, good so to good have to you. be here. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. I'm fired up. Uh, thankful to be in that little podcast with a good friend. Yeah, yeah. So, Kane, you know, in True Life Sessions, we always play a game, and you were supposed to bring a game, but you didn't, but you did find another way that, or something else that we could play. Yeah, no, what was the number of that bus that just hit me right there? But yeah, <laughs> I do have another game, and I thought uh, we could definitely play some catch today. So. Oh, catch. Great. <laughs> <laughs> play some catch. So, if you don't know, Kane was a catcher in college, and he's kind of packing an arm, kind of throws some heat. So, I'm excited, man. What are we, how are we going to play catch? Well, I actually brought these... Uh, these stick them things down here. So I thought we could just head out and oh, play some catch. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it then. All right. Let's go play some catch. We'll be right back. All right. We are back in the studio playing. Is this, con- this is considered catch, I guess, right? Yeah. Sticky catch. Sticky catch. Yeah. Hope that's nice on the ears. We're here playing catch, talking about prayer. Kane, you got anything about prayer you want to share with anybody? Yeah, I got a few. Got, I got a, a couple few pointers. things that I want to share on prayer. So, uh, <laughs> got a couple. Man, pointers. What, whatever you want to know, just yeah. ask away. Yeah. Okay. So let's just say my prayer life is kind of lacking. I'm a coach. I'm an athlete. I'm a champion, and I just don't really even know how to pray. Honestly, you got any pointers for me, just to be a better prayer? <laughs> <laughs> I got a few pointers. Yeah, I think. Uh, when my prayer life's usually lacking, it's because it's stale. Okay. Um, so I think, like, if I was going to encourage you, my, my relationship with my wife is not stale because we're, we're doing different stuff. Mm. So find different ways to pray that okay. are unique for you. Like, maybe it's going on a walk, or maybe okay. it's uh, hitting the knees 6 a.m. in the morning. I mean, yeah. there's just a lot of different ways to pray. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's a question totally unrelated to prayer. What's the best restaurant in Cowlitz County? I feel like you and me have talked about this a little, a little bit, but if wow. I'm if I'm taking you know the wife out on a real nice date and we're driving all the way up to Cowlitz County for some reason, <laughs> <laughs> that's a haul. <laughs> Can you give me a restaurant or two that I need to check out on there? Well, first and foremost, if you're coming up to Cowlitz County, you better be calling me because yeah. we'll be treating you all the okay. dinner. Yeah. But if I was gonna go top three, I'm gonna go Hop and Grape, Hop and Grape, uh, Heroes, Heroes. Ooh, and then I'm is that probably the pl- is that the place you took me? It was like downstairs, and it was a Greek yeah, place. Yeah, yeah dude, Euro that place. Zeros. Hey, you found yourself in Cowlitz County. What is that place called again? Euro Zeros. Euro Zeros. We're not sponsored or anything, but hey, stuff is fire. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. It is. Yeah. Good so sure. Cowlitz County, and we didn't even talk about this, but you're an FCA staff person up there. Yeah. What do you do up in Cowlitz County? Yeah. So I'm the area director for FCA up in Cowlitz County. Been serving for about three, four years now. Basically, my job is any coach and any athlete in that region, uh, helping them to know the Lord and to be plugged in the local church. So pretty awesome. Yeah. So are you up there like completely by yourself on staff or? No. Hey, <laughs> I've been on an island for a few years uh, and it's been tough, but we just hired our first staff members. So. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. Exciting. What's their name again? Uh, yeah. His, his name is Matt Ireton, <laughs> yeah. which I'm incredibly excited about. Shout out, Matt. Shout out, Matty Ireton. Welcome to staff, go. big dog. And also shout out, uh, I'm not alone because we have amazing volunteers and mm. people up there that make it all happen. So, Yeah, volunteers, if you're watching this, we love you. Seriously, we don't tell you enough. So We love you. As an area director for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in the great county of Cowlitz County. Yeah. Seems like there'd be a lot of prayer going into that. A lot of, you got a big day ahead of you, a lot yeah. of, a lot of meetings with donors or athletic director, coach, athlete. Like, how do you start that in prayer? Like what's, what's, what's your go-to in the morning? Yeah, for sure. No, for me, uh, the biggest thing r- recently is I've been walking 30 minutes a day on the treadmill. Okay. Uh, and I've been pray, wa- uh, prayer walking. So basically I'll pray through my meetings on that day and, and kind of go through what's on the agenda. And obviously I like to pray more than once for a meeting. So okay. Hopefully yeah. we can get a few more throughout the week. Yeah. And I mean, this might be a dumb question, but you know, just trying to oh, good throw. Um, why, why, why do you think, why do you think we should be in partnership with God in prayer, especially and not even in ministry, but just in like every day as like a high school student, middle school student, yeah. a coach, like, sure. Why should we try to begin every day just in that, in that headspace, that prayer? Well, uh, first and foremost, if Jesus prayed, 
Ooh. then we should probably pray. Yikes. Uh, Jesus always was seeking the will of the Father, mm -hmm. and he was always praying. So I think that we're human, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we should probably pray that much more. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's the why, and uh, I think that when we pray, it postures our heart to God. We engage God's heart first, and then we go out mm. of that versus the other way around. Oh, that's good, man. That's good. That's good. I love to think, for me personally, what helps me usually in prayer is that I'm not just tossing up these, you tossing. Know, <laughs> I'm not just throwing up these haymakers, yeah. you know, or Hail Marys all the way up to heaven, but actually because of who Jesus is in my own life, I actually am walking in this continuing conversation yeah. with Amen. who God is. It reminds me of uh, Enoch in the Old Testament. Mm. said he walked with God and then he was no more. So the guy wow. was literally just wow. walking with God and wow. just disappeared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. And I just, I think of that in my own life, like whether it's windshield time, mm. I don't know if you do that, but for me personally, if I'm in the car, I need to just cut the radio sure. off. Put my hands on the steering wheel and just, yeah, just get into yeah. that that time, just being quiet before yeah. the Lord. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. I think just hopping in on that a little bit more. But um, my prayer life the last couple of years was awful, mm. like straight up trash. Yeah, uh, I literally tried to do everything on my own strength, and I noticed that um, my ways aren't good. Mm. <laughs> my ways don't work. So, yeah. Good friend of mine, Paris Shuey, actually, uh, we've been praying every Thursday with some oh, other okay. guys. Uh, Thursday morning has changed my life. So, yeah. Prayer is now the first strategy versus Ooh. the last resort. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I go to Remy City Church up in Hillsboro, Beaverton, and our pastor always says that, uh, that prayer is the work, and then wow. God does the work. So Amen. if you really want to see some change in your life, go to um, Remedy. Go to the source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go. Like, like the, the, the best thing that you can do is yeah. pray harder about it, yeah. you know? And Amen. I think that's so good. Um, so, yeah, well, give me like... Give me some like something practical I can do tomorrow because, you know, the hardest thing I think when talking about this is a lot of people that like to talk about prayer usually have a pretty solid prayer life. But sure. for someone that maybe hasn't really even just dove into that, yep. like what what would that look like for them as they wake up in the morning or even yeah. after they watch this video? How can they step into that? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's a great question. Uh, very detail oriented. So for me, I like to schedule my prayer time. Oh, nice. Um, so I'm literally time blocking some time throughout the day. Usually like to do it in the morning because if you win the morning, usually you win the day. Oh, so I like to schedule my prayer time. So if your prayer life is no good right now, uh, it's not a great relationship. Pick a time, stick to it. Start, start slow, start small. Maybe it's five minutes a day you're mm. praying. Maybe it's one minute a day. But just start somewhere, and God will start to develop that relationship within your heart. That's so good. Yeah, I think for me, too, I'm not as detailed as Cain. And those of you who do know me definitely know that. <laughs> um, but I think for me, like I said before, not looking at prayer as this um, non-personal kind of just toss-up, hoping yeah. that it gets there, but believing because of who Jesus is and the Holy Spirit in me that I'm actually communing yeah. with the God of the universe. Yeah. Like That's crazy, you know? Amen. And uh, I was actually reading through James uh, this week, James 1, and it talks about how God just like wants to give wisdom so bad, yeah. but we just don't even ask for it. Yeah. Like we just don't go to him. And yeah. Jesus talked about all the time, like, hey, if you knock, the door answered. And I think, I think a lot of times people forget that the God of the universe wants to spend time with you, sure. wants to be in conversation with you, wants to have that relationship because it's not just a, I saved you, I moved on to the next one, but walking day in, day out, yeah. you know. Amen. With God, so no, yeah, that, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, it is such a relationship too, and mm -hmm. I think uh, just one other tip, but adore, confess, thank, supply. Mm. Those are some awesome prayer prompts. It's also known as an axe prayer, but adore, confess, thank, and supply. That's, that's kind good. of a, a good little DNA. Yeah, with how it should be walking in our prayer life. That's awesome. Well, hey. We want you guys to be praying. We want to help you any way that we can. If you need help in that a little more, DM us, message us. We'd love to walk with you through that. Kane, you're a prayerful guy. You want to pray us out? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, let's, let's do pray. it. Yeah. Jesus, thank you for this opportunity uh, to play some catch and to talk about prayer today. Uh, God, I pray for everyone that's tuning in, watching this uh, video. Lord, I just ask that you would stir within their hearts a desire and a hunger uh, to spend time with the Father, to pray to pray boldly. God, I pray that um, you would just remind us that prayer is the first strategy, uh, mm -hmm. not the last resort. We yeah. give you all glory, honor, and praise, and may we just see a generation of prayer warriors rise up here in Southwest Washington and Western Oregon. Amen. Amen. All right, Kane, thanks for coming to the studio, playing some catch with me. Oh. You peppered that one. <laughs> a little pepper. Hey, thanks for joining us on True Life Session. We'll see you at the next episode.